good faith that we, the people, gave them to run things, they absolutely squandered that. Whether it was shipping jobs overseas, keeping our border open, a total lack of law and order, or putting us into a cycle of perpetual endless wars to include the one that we're pushing towards right now in Ukraine, which is a potential nuclear war. And so these people cannot be trusted anymore. So no. it's on every single one of us to start to take our republic back. And that's exactly what we're doing right now at every single level. All that stands in the way of us being able to take back Washington, D.C. and in one party rule is this election here in November. And I, I know with all of your support, I'm going to be successful. The Democrats right now, Marie Perez, she's doing the exact same things that Joe Biden and the Democrats throughout the country are doing. They're trying to say that they are different, that they're not the ones that are responsible for all the carnage, but we know who's responsible for the carnage. What is driving this cycle of inflation? I mean, right now, working class families, families at every level, you're gonna have one month of wages stolen from you, somewhere between six to $7,000 will be taken from you thanks to Biden's inflation. And that's because he killed off American energy on day one of his administration. And then from there, the Congress continued to spend trillions and trillions of dollars. This last Congress, we ran up the national debt, another about $7 trillion, thanks to their bills. Those bills did nothing to alleviate any kind of inflation. As a matter of fact, they added new taxes on the domestic energy production. They sent 87,000 more IRS agents after people making less than $100,000 to come take whatever you have left. At the same time, we are being absolutely plagued by crime at every single level. And that's thanks to, on day one, what Joe Biden do. 